What happens when you take a bunch of awesome urban artists, send them up into the thumb and put them down on the farm? You get art that's rural, surreal, and real cool. It's simply called the Barn Project, and art lovers from all over are finding it. Now, what's the Barn Project, you ask? Well, it's simply an artistic effort to reimagine these iconic and often crumbling structures. You'll find these interesting installations at the northern tip of the thumb in and around the popular beach town of Port Austin. It's here where city art and country culture collide. We found out about this progressive project from longtime friend and art activist Jim Boyle, who helped make it all happen. And he told us exactly who to get a hold of to find out more. Katie Newell is a professor of architecture at U of M, and her awesome art is turning this barn into a beautiful beacon on the landscape. And Carl Osentowski is with Huron County, and totally happy this art is here. Okay, I know this is a totally loaded question, but whose crazy creative concept was this? Part of it was to look at Marfa, Texas. It was actually the, the inspiration for what we're doing up here and to use buildings that were in disrepair and create art out of it. Now, Katie, what's the concept of your barn that you're doing here? That we're sitting inside of, right. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, bigger, the bigger approach is that it's meant to actually highlight the enormous sky that's around it. So I have cut a very large slice through the barn, one that actually architecturally and physically can't happen without some restructuring of the barn, but allows for a light to literally cut through the barn, making it, in essence, it's become two barns, sort of folded in itself, and you can walk through this passage, but it's constantly changing throughout the different times of day, and even at night, it gets illuminated to sort of do the opposite light effect. And what's the, what's the name of yours? It's called Secret Sky. Aha, that's not a secret anymore, we found it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, on, it's out. <laughs> so has this built bridges in the community? I mean, do people, do people get it? What's happening? Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes not, because it's a very challenging idea, is to take an old barn and to repurpose it, essentially to save it, because otherwise it would collapse on itself. The first barn was very controversial. Second barn was uh, less, and this one is even less. I mean, I think people, as they move through the process and have looked at the installations, have gotten it. Now, there are currently three, but you hope to eventually have 10. 10. Now, talk That's about the other two that we're not in right now. The first one that we did was by the Hygienic Dress Lake. It's two murals on the side of the barn. And the second one that we did was by Scott Hocking, and he literally dismantled the barn and put it back together as a boat, an ark. Well, these are big projects to take on. I mean, I, you, you amaze me, because <laughs> earlier I was watching you crawl around in this barn and climb to the top, and this is something, I mean, thank goodness you're an architect, you're an expert <laughs> at this, because I wouldn't even know where to begin. I'd have to say it has changed my, as an architect, it has also changed my relationship to buildings in the way I see them as um, objects and how we can hand make them or not areas where we hand make them and that sort of thing. Well, I think this is such a tremendous concept. I mean, I mean, I, I actually get it, <laughs> which is <laughs> tough for me, but um, I think it's, it's, just, it's a great thing for this area, this part of Michigan, to have something this unique and to bring this kind of art up here and folks like you that are truly talented I mean, kudos. If you're one of those people who need an awesome, unusual, artistic, and thought-provoking reason to visit a region, come to the Port Austin area, because these urban slash rural art installations are right up your artful alley. Heck, they're even cool to see if you have no reason at all.